Yay! I also live with my parents, so. Just throwing it out there. I live in Orange County and with my parents. Awesome, it's nice to be here. I, uh, I don't date that much, uh, mainly because my body type doesn't attract the type of person I'm attracted to. <laughs> For instance, my body type doesn't say, I like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain. <laughs> my body type says, it puts the lotion on its skin. <laughs> or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> Thank you for laughing at that. My family thinks I'm gay, and, uh, and the problem I have with that is they won't just come out and ask me. They try and trick me <laughs> into telling them. Like the other day, I went out to dinner with my mom, and she's like, Lori, what's your favorite food, hot dogs or tacos? All right, well, what about for dessert? Ding-dongs or women? Choose one. <laughs> Make a decision. People always wonder, they always ask me, what are you? Are you gay, straight, or bisexual? I am pie-sexual. That's right, I will be with anyone who will give me a pie. Thank you, person in the back who clapped. <laughs> One lone person was like, yes. <laughs> I know some of y'all asking, well, what kind of pie do I need to get to be with this sex goddess? It's my joke, that's what you're asking. I will tell you in rhyme. Apple taste above the waist. Banana cream below the seam. <laughs> But if it's shepherd's pie, I will stab you in your freaking eye! Cause that's not pie and I'm not stupid! <laughs> Thank you for laughing at that. I, uh, I got laser eye surgery recently because I looked in the mirror and thought, I need to lose glasses. <laughs> That's what's gonna bring this together. <laughs> I know I'm big, I get it, I have a mirror. What I don't understand is why people think that just because I'm big, that means I'm strong. Like I was hanging out with my grandma the other day, because I'm a virgin. She was like, hey, Lori, you're big. Why don't you move that 250-pound chest into the living room? <laughs> Grandma, I'm big because I like to eat and lay down at the same time. <laughs> There's no workout involved. <laughs> I am a virgin. I just don't think I'm the type of virgin that the terrorists are thinking of when they're crashing into buildings. <laughs> You know who I feel sorry for? I feel sorry for Osama bin Laden. I really do. Because he's going to get to his version of heaven and see 72 of me sitting on a couch eating Doritos going, literally, all I'm going to do is sleep. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go, actually. Yeah, my Criminal Minds marathon is over with. I need my sleep apnea machine. I'm going to take the Doritos because I brought those. <laughs> I'll catch you later. Thank you. I just like to see how long I can awkwardly walk backwards <laughs> before people go, this is a comedy show. I, uh, I, I, I keep trying to lose weight, I really do. I actually read an article that said if you drink lots of water, it'll curb your appetite and you won't want to eat as much. 
<laughs> she read the same article. Uh, I tried that, now I'm just eating in the bathroom more. So, it's awkward. Do you do that too, or? Oh, that was you, sorry. Man, am I racist. I was just like, black person. All right, sorry about that. Uh, I think my, my main problem is that I'm an emotional eater. You know, like, uh, for example, if I have a bad set tonight, I'm gonna celebrate, or I'm gonna drown my sorrows by eating. If I have a great set tonight, I'm gonna celebrate by eating. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna be eating. <laughs> I'm super excited about that. So that's fun. I, uh, I recently joined a, gym, a kickboxing gym, which I recommend, thank you. Uh, I, I, I recommend it. Uh, I've done, been doing it for three months. I've lost like 30 pounds. It's really awesome. <laughs> oh, what? Stop. No, that's not why I mentioned it. I did not mention it for that reason. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> uh, what? No, keep it going. What? No, stop. No, stop. Oh my God. No, stop. What? No. I don't have to fill time. What? <laughs> I recommend it. I recommend everybody do it. It's fun. I really like it. The only issue I will say is that it doesn't really help with the self-defense of kickboxing. Like, for instance, let's say tonight I'm leaving and uh, somebody tries to attack me. After three months of kickboxing, this is what I could accomplish. Thank you for laughing. Oh, I spilled water, everybody. I call this two minutes of watching Lori catch her breath. Thank you. I, uh, I was just waving to somebody in the back. I, uh, I, when I started doing stand-up comedy, my family wasn't really, uh, happy about it and uh, like my grandma when I told my grandma she's like well Lori I just think female comedians are so unfeminine I was like well so is a mustache but that didn't seem to bother you <laughs> she's dead now so double serve <laughs> the worst one was my mom my mom went and saw one of my first stand-up shows. Afterwards, I called her and was like, hey, mom, what'd you think? And she goes, well, now you're not gonna be able to be president. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a replay for you of a conversation I had with my mother about how me doing stand-up now means I will no longer be able to be president of the United States of America. <laughs> All right. This is that conversation. Um, Mom, I've never wanted to be president, so I don't know why you're upset about that. I've never once told you I wanted to be president. Well, I'm not, Lori. 
story, okay? So just drop it, all right? I thought maybe someday, but now it's not gonna happen, okay? So just drop it, okay? I, I, I'm done, I'm not, I'm done. I'm not even gonna talk about it. I don't understand why you're upset about it, Mom. I never even once thought about being president. When have I ever told you I wanted to be president? I don't know, Lori, okay? Just stop thinking about it, all right? It's not gonna happen. So just drop it, all right? It's never gonna happen. I thought maybe someday my daughter might be president, but now it's not gonna happen. Mom, I don't understand why you're being so angry about this. Don't you have to be like 35 for that to happen? You don't think that stuff's gonna follow you, Lori? You don't think somebody's gonna see you do some stupid uh, bisexual joke on YouTube and be like, oh, I want her to be president, but not now. Who wants me to be president now, Mom? Name one person you met who said, I want your daughter to be president. I don't know, Lori. I thought maybe someday, but now I'm not gonna happen. I thought maybe you cut me, but now that's gone. Why is it gone? I never told you I want to be president. Not the one in my entire life. And I tell you, I want to be president. Why are you upset? 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 Thank you, Mr. Ryan.